Hi, and welcome to the Financial Modeling Tips by the Startup Station. Today, we're going to learn how to calculate margins and the burn rate. These are key metrics important to evaluating the feasibility of uh, pretty much every uh, single startup venture. So it's very important that uh, you know how to calculate them and what they mean and how to interpret the results. So what we need to know uh, specifically in order to calculate them are the revenues. Of course, if we're building a five-year projection, it will be years one to five. And then we need to know variable costs, fixed costs, as well as non-cash costs and taxes. What we're going to be able to do with all of that is to calculate gross operating net margins as well as the burn rate. Okay, so let's calculate gross margins and the burn rate. Okay, so each margin is calculated by dividing the respective profit level by sales. Of course, it can only be done if that profit is greater than zero. Otherwise, it's NA. So if you don't have any revenues or if the gross profit is negative, you do not calculate the margin. So gross margin is re uh, related to gross profit. Operating margin can be calculated either for EBITDA or EBIT. Both are measures of operating profit. And of course, net profit margin is calculated for net profit. If you're not sure what any of these terms mean, please take our accounting class. The link is in the description. And um, you can use the code of YouTube to get 50% off as the special offer for this week. So let's calculate our gross margin. So like I said, uh, it should only be calculated if two conditions are met. One is the gross profit is greater than zero and revenues are not zero, right? So then we can divide gross profit by sales. And otherwise, in all other cases, we cannot calculate it. So it should be an A. Okay. Now uh, let's paste this formula forward. And now we can also paste it down to calculate um, a similar case for the EBITDA. Let's see what happened here. We also need to anchor um, revenues at the, in the end statement as well as in the formula. So then it's gonna get pasted correctly. And then for the net profit, we need to change the reference to refer to the net profit line. So what do we see here, right? So after you calculate it, uh, right? So all you're doing roughly is dividing gross profit by revenues, EBITDA by revenues or net profit by revenues, right? As long as they're non-negative and non-zero. So you see that the variable costs are very low for this business as a tech startup. Therefore, the gross margin is almost at 100%. You see that their operations are becoming more profitable, probably a little too profitable by year five. So this is a flag for you to review assumptions because can it really be at 92%? You're probably not growing your expenses accordingly as your revenues grow. And the uh, net profit margin uh, is eventually at a 68%. So you should really look at the um, industry uh, at your competition and see whether this is consistent with what the industry profitability is. Now, in order to calculate the burn rate, you need to calculate fixed cost, which is going to be the difference between gross profit and maybe that. And then you need to divide it by 12 because all the burn rate is, it's a monthly fixed cost. It's a very important metric that only VCs look at to see how capital intensive your business is. And voila. And there we go. If you like this video, please comment below, share it with your friends and colleagues, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more financial modeling tips every week. If you want to learn about our unique framework for modeling early stage ventures, please subscribe to our free masterclass, Build Credible Financials for Your Venture. The link is in the description. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next week.